Welcome back, you guys, for the Caliber Issue. I'm Kaylin Caliber, and I'm joined with Howard's finest, Coach Mike London. Coach, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. So today's the second day of camp with appearances from UMass and Syracuse. How was it? I tell you what, it was a great camp. We uh, probably had about 170 campers plus. Had a lot of kids moving around. Um, lines were uh, they were being taught. Lines were short. They were you know being instructed by some of the best college coaches in and around the area. Um, we were able to evaluate players. Uh, coaches from other areas we had some other college coaches as well they came and they were able to evaluate players as well so it was a, it was a good day now why is it so important for you to host these camps it, it's important because we talk about the dmv and howard is smack dab in the middle of the dmv there's dc you know uh, maryland virginia and so a lot of these young uh, people they, they they come to an area that they know that you know it's easy for a syracuse or michigan or umass you know, to, to Boston College to come down and, and, and see kids that are recruited from a hotbed area. And so to be able to host this and have the type of talented coaches like the staff, Coach Harbaugh, uh, Dino Baber from Syracuse, uh, Coach Whipple from UMass, and Dazio from Boston College, it, it just, you know, it, it's a win-win. And, and uh, you know, we were able to evaluate some players and now have Howard on the list. And when these high school players come, I know you're not expecting them to sign off that because they're still young. But what do you want them to know about Howard? beyond just it being the biggest upset in college history? Well, we want them to know that you can come here and get a great education. You know, the, the number one, number two, arguably, you know, the top two, three HBCU schools in the country, one of the best schools in the country in terms of its graduate schools. Um, you know, it's, it's a school that you can have the best of both world opportunities, not only from an academic standpoint, we want to build a brand that from a football standpoint, we're competitive, we can win championships as well. So we're looking at the best of both world opportunities, and that's what we want, and that's what we're building. And we're hoping that camps like these, big wins like UNLV, uh, successful seasons, you know, graduating our players become things that uh, people can be proud of. And last question, the fans want to know, what do you like most out of today's camp from GoGo -Go and from you would say D block. Our coaches, I tell you what, our coaches are the most <laughs> colorful guys. Uh, they do a great job. I got a great, great staff. And the energy that they exhibit is, is something that's just fun to sit back and watch. And, and I just watch them compete against each other, introducing themselves. Right. You know, so, um, you know, and it, it, it's all about the staff, you know, and, and the staff is a reflection of, of the progress that we've made as a, as a program. And so um, one guy leaves, another guy. Of, uh, of, of, of excellent talent and character and morals comes in and steps in. So uh, I'm really excited about our staff and uh, we laugh a lot. We have a lot of fun, but um, you know, that's, that's what it's all about. And when is the next camp? The next camp is uh, this Friday. Uh, it's our camp, you know, Howard, uh, there's no visiting coaches. There may be a few, maybe D2, D3 schools. And then we have Saturday's camp, which is a go-go, mm -hmm. you know, our offensive camp. So we, we're creative now. We got all kinds of camps. <laughs> well, thank you, Coach. We're so looking forward to Friday's camp. Tune in for Friday. Signing out, Kaylin Culliver.